Okay, it's worth noting that uh, in this video, um, um, or oh, sorry, this project, I'm trying to keep things quite simple. So we'll use a little bit of OOP, uh, but nothing major. Um, and I'd say the next project is more how I would probably approach solving some of these things. And it, it probably is a little bit more of a complex approach, but this is, this is meant to be an introduction for anybody that's never done this before. So I'll try and keep it simple where I can. So, um, what we've got here is what we did last time and it's a case of now making the new window so um i'm going to go into the extra module i made and i'm going to start by just importing everything i think i'm going to need because this is likely to only actually have one window so it's just a guess the number game and um, so i'm going to import things like random because uh, i'm going to have to generate a random number and I'll, I'll just do it all in one window like again keeping it simple for this video so um i'm going to also want um a few things from pyqt6 so i'm going to want qt widgets um and i'm going to say import again being a bit lazy it, it would be nice especially if this is like your a-level project to see uh, absolute references uh, it's not the end of the world if you don't but you know where it says like from pyqt6 qt widgets import blah 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 the, the different classes and functions you've used. So um, I'm going to use PyQt6 uh, Qt Core is another thing I used. Um, and the last one was um, Qt GUI. So I've got some notes here so I don't forget what I did. Um, so I ended up using all of these things for different areas not necessarily all for this little video and um, so let's start by making our first window and making it pop up so the way i would do that is i'm going to change this into a class okay and i'm going to pass it qt widget now i've got it uh, oh it's q widget sorry not qt widget so q widget is a uh, class itself that's built into PyQt6. And it's got all the functions of all the widgets. So uh, it's something that if we pass in here, it makes our class a child class of Q widget. So what we need to do is then we need to run the initializer of Q widget. So that might sound complicated if you if you're a little bit not quite there with OOP yet. But remember watching the OAP videos I did, maybe doing a couple of the challenges uh, will hopefully get you. So this makes complete sense. So our constructor is the normal double underscore in it, which is the section that's gonna run um, as I create my objects, or in this case, create my window. Um, and the first thing to do is run the super, which will run the, um, parent class version. So that's gonna run the initializer from Q widget. So we don't need to know what it is, but it's gonna have all the Q widget properties and then we can add to it or we can use certain parts of it. So make sure you've got that, that's really important. And then we might want to give it some properties, okay? So uh, I'm gonna do self, dot title and these are things if we do it like this we could create a class to make multiple windows and we could pass it different properties but for now we'll just create them so um i'm going to call this pyqt guess the number game so it's got a title i'm going to have a left and a right and a top and a bottom uh, integer values so we'll have left is 50 self dot top is 50 so that's how far away it's going to be from the left and the top when we create our window uh, self dot width and uh, we'll, we'll have 600 self dot height is 500 uh, now self dot icon I haven't got this yet, but I'm going to add it. Is python.png. 
so we're going to make it so we've got a little icon in our window uh, which will be that but i've not put it into my folder yet so we'll do um self dot create ui so and then that is going to be a method within this class or another function so i'm going to make create ui like that and then that's going to run so it's going to set these properties and then it's going to run this which is where i'm going to actually create my window and make it appear so um in here i'm going to say uh, self dot set geometry and i'm going to pass it four properties so i'm going to pass it left self dot left self dot right self dot width and self dot height that rhymes uh, self dot width and self dot height so you can do this without having self we could have just put values in here but by saying 50 50 here it means start 50 away from the left and 50 away from the top so the the window top left corner of it will start about there and then the size of it will be width going across is 600 and height going down is 500 now on my monitor it's 4k so it might look slightly different to yours you might find if you're not on a 4k monitor it's bigger uh, don't worry that's normal it's just because there's more pixels on mine than might be on yours especially if you're in the school labs you definitely not got 4k monitors in there um so set geometry and um, i'm going to set the title of the window so uh, set window title and that's obviously going to be self dot title which is what i've created up there um i'm going to do now this won't work until i put the file in but let's get it in there now anyway because it's a nice thing to do when you make windows uh, set window icon and then now i'm going to use q icon and i'm going to do self dot icon so self dot icon is the, the file effectively or the file path I might, if i put that into an images folder i might need to write images full slash python png so um i'm going to put a little icon so a little small uh, little icon size so you know i think they're like 32 pixels by 32 or something like that um a little python icon um, and that's going to appear in the top left hand corner of my window so i'm not going to move it in yet so it won't work so i can show you what it will normally look like and then why you probably want it because it makes it look nicer um so we we'll can have that um now this is one of the things i absolutely love about pikey t we can use css for all our styling so if i do self dot set style sheet and then the way I would suggest using this is using the triple quotes. So what we've created here is a uh, window where we can pass it CSS code. So if you've not done CSS before, that's a style, a way of doing styles for, I learned it when I learned how to build websites. Um, and it's dead straightforward, but we can use this on anything. So whereas we make different widgets and things, we can just do the name of the widget, dot set style sheet and change the alignment Color, the background color whether what it looks like when it hovers the, everything is absolutely brilliant so I can change the background color by writing background and then I can do things like uh, white like that and that would work um, but I can also do uh, hex codes so if I want to get specific I can put hex codes in and get really uh, precise colors for what I want so that's going to obviously set the background to white and then i'm going to also do at this point self.grid um which is going to equal q grid layout and uh, we'll cover that later but this is how we're going to choose where our widgets appear we're going to treat our our window like a grid you don't have to do it like that but it's one of the nice options for laying things out 
um, and then we can do because we've got a grid we can do self dot set layout um, and pass it the self dot grid that we've just made um, and I would say at this point we'll stop and um, let's run it Uh, game window has no object, no attribute right. Did you mean height? So let's have a look. We've obviously made some kind of spelling error here. Ah, it doesn't have a right, it has a top, doesn't it? So I'm not getting any errors. But more windows also obviously not appearing, but that's because didn't do here window so it's on the main file window game dot show because you've got these things called show and hide I have obviously made an error here and I've worked out what it is, even though it's so obvious, so obvious, and yet it took me a minute to do it. Here, I didn't look at the line above saying it's got no attribute show. It's just because this isn't meant to be a dot, it's meant to be an equals. So it's meant to have been window game variable, or window underscore game equals, and then run that class that I've imported from here, which I've now written. So now that's run, when I run it, there we go. So my window appears. So we've got our window. Like I said, it might look bigger on your screen than mine. Um, I hate it when it's something really obvious like that and it takes me ages to spot it. It's usually the obvious ones that take me forever. Um, so anyway, that's um, all working absolutely as expected. Um, so we'll carry on in the next video and I'm going to start by showing you how to um, have files and things and, and put them into uh, your game. So we'll start by adding an image for a logo. Yeah.